Hey everybody, this is Gary of the OK Modeler channel and welcome to episode 13 of the USS New Jersey build. In this episode, I'm going to be working on the bow here, uh, the decking for the bow. Got a lot of pieces, a lot of tiny pieces in fact. I got a bunch, I got this Vauxhall here. And if you can see, there's a little, little, little holes right here that little tiny parts, I mean really small parts, go on this one so that's going to be a time consuming right there i gotta replace the add a new breaker right here that's a resin piece that the ponto set comes in with and then i also need to paint everything else as well you got the haze gray then i got maybe the darker color that goes here the decking gray here so lots to work on and hopefully at the end of this episode everything goes well that i will be able to go ahead and glue this to the whole ship maybe we'll see so let's get working on it so the first step i'm going to do for the bow portion of this build is i'm going to be working on this foxel first and there are about two dozen pieces that are involved with this. So obviously there's the foxhole, then the anchor part where the chains and goes on here. Then I got several pieces on this photo etch ret here or fret here. You got these over here. You probably can't see them too well, but that's fine. A uh, little things here too as well and let's see here maybe a couple of these as well and then the ponto set came with some resin parts right here it goes over here and then chains now if you're going to do the chain part uh pontos comes with this a uh, small little chain it comes with a set which should fit on there i've used it in the past for my missouri build i ended up just drilling a couple holes into the foxhole right here and this these two holes plug the chain in one end pulling it out and just kind of look balance it out a little bit this time though i'm going to go in with this 3d anchor chain right here and the reason being is one i just wanted to give it a shot two and i know you guys can't see this too well but if you see the main chain is the two lines two main lines that go down the middle and then there's these smaller chains and that's something you don't get with the ponto set right there so what i'm going to do is hopefully i can get this out of its cage here it's i already broke one but super glue can take care of that. But these are what I'm looking for is the details right here on the little smaller chains. And I'm hoping that it's gonna look good. Um, if it doesn't, I'll just resort to using this chain. Okay, so I got the foxhole part, of, or at least some of it uh, put together. A couple uh, photo etch pieces here. I'm not too sure about how this this particular piece goes right here. Maybe I can try to get in there. Not quite sure how this one goes. I tried to look at some pictures, didn't have any references. So I just took a guess. It's the best, that's all you could do. That's all right. Also, there's some resin pieces here. So this is where the chain goes in right here. So I just super glued those together. Uh, one of the things, I need to do now is to get the chain this 3d chain out of this little jail cell here or protective case um i've done one i cut one i bought two of these and i cut one out partially and it broke and after kind of looking at it a little more um it looks like it's anchored down right here by a couple points you can see right here so you see the holes here and then right there that's an anchor point and right here and I don't deal with a lot of 3d parts 
like this in a in a case like this but my understanding is because it's so brittle it could break the the chain here so I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly cut on the top here and then work my way down and hopefully it will it will stay intact if not then I'll just go ahead and have to super glue it so let's go ahead and start here very very brittle you can see the chain right there And if you have any other suggestions on how to get this out, put it down in the comment section. So you can see the point right there. Oops, sorry. You can see the point right there, the anchor. All right, let's see if I can keep working on this. how it just cracks like that. All right, I'll be right back and hopefully I get this all cut out. All right, here is an up close view of the Foxel here. Um, as you can see, I got the 3D print right here, or this part right here is the 3D that I managed to get out of its little jail cell. It took me a while and some of the pieces broke, so I had to glue it back together. And then here is the chain that Pontos provided. And I kind of went back and forth as to which one I wanted to use. I really would like to use this 3D part here, but you know, it's not very flexible, but it just doesn't lay down very well um, unless I put a, a large amount of glue in. I think it just wouldn't look as realistic as say this right here. Um, now, I wish that the Pontos one had those smaller chains on there, but uh, yeah, that's probably not gonna happen there, I think you make smaller change, it's gonna be really hard. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's something I still have to think about, but it just, you could lay it down flat and glue it all the way to the end, but it would just kind of pop up a little bit and just would look a little unnatural. So I think I'm gonna to lean towards just using the, the one that Pontos provided. Um, plus it's black and I don't have to paint it. Um, maybe I'll change my mind later on, but I think that's the direction I'm gonna head to head towards. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this all painted up here. All right, I got some of this painted in the modern haze gray. I got my chain stoppers painted in white and folded. And I got this anchor portion that goes here, painted as well. Now all I gotta do is just put it all together. All right, I got this all painted and glued together. I got the anchor stoppers on here. It's pretty easy to put in there. Uh, fortunately, Pontos put little grooves in there so these little anchored stoppers will just plop right into the little slots in there made it really easy um, then i also glued the chain to the underside of this deck right here and just super glued it and then what i will do is i'll just go ahead and run it down and wrap it on here once i put the uh, i'm not sure what those things are called but put those on here okay if that makes sense 
All right, so the next step I'm gonna to need to do is attach these pieces, including the, the stern part, onto the hole. Well, it's time. Let's go ahead and put the deck onto the hole here. I'm gonna be using the orange tube of glue here. Works great, and it smells great too. All right. Add a little bit here. nothing. Now the hole is going to be a little smaller but you just kind of have to just kind of work it in there. Make sure you got a nice fit naturally if it wants to pop out. And you could also use rubber bands to tie it, tie it down, but I tend to use the things I have around my desk. Spray can, take care of that. Whatever this thing is. I didn't buy this, a friend of mine gave it to us. And a can of Tamiya spray to top it off. All right, we'll wait a couple hours, let this dry and see how it worked out. Okay, folks, it's been a few hours and the deck is secured down, at least the bow section. And I know it kind of looks like the bow is sticking up a little bit over here, it's like not secured. But it is, it's just the photo etch piece that's just on top of the existing deck. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and put the stern section on here on the deck and then the superstructure. And then after that, we'll start working on getting the decking, wood deck on this. I spent 45 minutes last night just getting this deck on and moved all the glue out or squeezed it all out. And looking good so far, uh, no issues with it. So it, it went down well and I'm excited because this is the last wooden deck I have to put on for this ship. Yay, milestone. All right, so the next one I'm gonna do is put on this, uh, this uh, water breaker. I think that's what it's called. But um, I got this from the Ponto set and I what I ended up doing was it originally was on here and then I just used an X-Acto knife and just scored it across because I could have used a scissor, but I was afraid that I could crack that. And I didn't want that to be cracked because it's my only one for this set. So now trying to make sure that I get this centered here, uh, it should be roughly about right here. And the way I'm gauging it here is, let me see if I can zoom in here. As you see these little lines right here and I'm just basing it the third one here as well as the third one right here to line up with close to that hole that's where I'm gonna go ahead and place that uh, wave breaker water breaker over here so I'm gonna go ahead and work on it and let's go ahead and apply some super glue All right, let's hope I don't screw this up here I'll be right back. Well, I think I, I think this is the best I can get to it. Um, it's pretty close to where I want it to be. I think that's more, I don't know, closer to this edge than it 
over here than it should be. Um, I mean, I could rip it off and try again, but then I don't want to damage the wood as well. So I'll just leave it there for now, and maybe if it falls off by accident, I could replace it and re or readjust it. So now I think the next thing I got to do is put the brackets that are that go behind there. All right, let's see if I can get this on here. I lost one of these uh, one of these already, so I'm going to start in the middle here, and hopefully it'll still be here. That looks all right. All right, let's try one more here. Well, it looks all right. So, all right. So what I'm gonna do is gonna keep working on this. This is not my favorite part of the ship to do, but We'll see how it goes and hopefully I can find that one piece that flung off. Anywho, I'll be right back. All right, well, it took me about 40 minutes to get all those uh, these supports over here. Um, this is a hole right here, so it kind of looks, looks kind of funny that way, but yeah, it's, it's a hole. So uh, it's too bad that I lost one of these pieces here, so. Hopefully it'll turn up somewhere or maybe it landed on your desk somewhere. So, but if I find it, I'll eventually attach it on there. I still have the other piece on there. All right, well, it wasn't too bad to put on. Uh, just took a little time to get it straight, but it's not perfect, but it's good enough. So the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, put the parts together here and do a dry fit on this ship here and as you all know in the last few episodes anytime i do a dry fit we're coming to the end of this episode all right here it is everything's been dry fitted together did a lot of work on this uh bow section of the ship here and got the all the decking put in here so it's starting to look like a ship right now uh, i just noticed this so i'm gonna have to take care of that but that will be part of the next episode. But anyways, um, yeah, there's still a lot of things to work on, obviously, but we're getting closer. I'm going to do a couple of these things here off camera. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking it's looking good so far. I still got this to take care of. But um, so the next episode, I'm going to be working on the weapons stuff. Uh, I got the tomahawks, the harpoon missiles as well. I'm going to work on that. And possibly I might work on the five inch gun mounts. So that should be a little exciting. Anyways, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button and hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Give me any feedback. Let me know what you guys think. Until then, I will see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching.